And from cherries to coconuts, the Philippine coconut industry is struggling to contain a fast-spreading insect infestation. So far, it's affected more than 2 million trees, and that's only about 1% of all coconut trees in the country. But experts are worried that this problem could worsen. Barnaby Lowe has the details. It's been a difficult year for Mario Kiachon. He used to be able to depend on his one-hectare coconut plantation to make a decent living for himself and for coconut farmers he employs. Not anymore. Almost 60 percent of the coconut trees in our village have either died or are dying. Pests, never before seen in the Philippines, have been sapping the life out of these trees turning the leaves brown and leaving them fruitless. The Philippines is one of the largest coconut exporters in the world. There are about 350 million of these trees behind me all over the country. Right now, only a small percentage has been infested, but the fear is that these so-called coconut scale insects are spreading fast and wide. So it's very, very alarming since uh, the crawlers, so they are windborne. A crawler can travel as far as 400 meters. Um, within a month. And there were a lot of these insects. So many that according to scientists from the University of the Philippines, chemicals and pesticides alone just won't do. They're searching for other insects that can potentially feed on those killing the coconut trees. Farmers are also doing what they can to contain the infestation and to help bring these trees back to life for their own benefit. We were told that it will probably take three months before the treatment works. So in the meantime, we need to find some other sources of income. And with coconut being used in everything from food and oil to beauty products, the government says the problem, if left unresolved, could cost the economy to lose more than $750 million in one year and leave millions jobless. Barney Below CCTV, Batangas. The Philippines.